Hi, good afternoon, good day, everyone. How you doing? Okay, my name is Akinero. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking to you about how to register on you, uh, how to register a user, how to register yourself on OES. Okay, this is all about me. This is about me. I'm the founder. I'm one of the founder in OES, uh, as well as uh, uh, chief technical di director of OES, and so. Um, we all know that OES is about re redefining education in ed in in Africa. So um, so about the subject matter, we're talking about how to get onboarded on OES as a student, as a teacher, and a school owner. So um, the first thing you must be you must ensure that you have a system. This system, I mean, this application runs on uh, on a system and it enables you to make use of internet so that uh, you can get all the power there in, get in inside the internet. So, um, so when you ready, when you got in a, a system you want to use, you must uh, you must have uh, a web browser, and uh, you must have internet, and so uh, you must know that you must know the link of that school. If it's a private uh, school, we are going to give you a link to that respect. Uh, that means you must have paid in. You must have been. Uh, you must paid for. You must have paid for your school management. But if you are a student, that means you are coming on on our OES to conduct NG. Uh, that means you are coming right away into OES school. That means you are coming into OES school. And a lot of students, a lot of teachers are using OES school out there today. A lot of teachers are using OES school out there today. Okay, so like I said before, there are two things you have to note. Number one, you must know the link to that, that particular school in which you want to relate with. If it's your teacher that have given you the link, or if it's if he just told you to just go directly on OES, that means you are coming to the uh, for normal academics and or for private school. But if you are just coming as a freelancer, but if you are just coming under a particular public school, that means it's the state government that's going to give you that particular link. Or if you are coming under a private school, it is that school organization, I mean, it's that school administration that's going to give you that particular link. But if your teacher just told you, okay, fine, just go online and create a user and start browsing on it, that means your, your teacher has already signed up with OES, and OES is now pushing the, the content out for you which is also from your teacher. It can also be from your teacher. And so uh, so you should have this at the back of your mind. So when you want to register, you must have a link. You must have internet. You must have a computer system or a mobile phone. So after that has been done, you are coming in as a freelance. Uh, I think I've mentioned this. Uh, all those links is very important. Know the type of student in which you are. So after knowing the kind of teachers, I mean, if you know that you are in a particular school, it's going to give you the same interface like the one that we are looking at right now. This is the OES interface. This is the school. This is OES school. And that's what you will see on the, uh, on the internet, on the internet. Now, this is everything you do here. You sign in as a school that wants to use OES. You sign in as a teacher that wants to be under OES school. And you sign as a student that wants to watch a lot of things under OES school. We've already prepared a lot of things for you under this school. And so, and if you want to look at that particular school, these are the schools. And you can just click on this and you see a lot of content, I mean, made available for you to use already. So, uh, uh, if you click on this, it should be able to download that for you. Aside that, um, if you want to register okay the, the the link the content are just coming out so you can see there's a lot of content there for you to adopt so if you want to register let's go back to the home page um the home page of the system of oes you click on this student it's going to land you on this uh, interface and this interface uh you must fill in your user your first name your last name your email these are important in order to reach out i mean reach back i mean reach out to you uh should you have in, in issues that you want to raise or something you want to ask from oes we, without this there's no way we can validate who you are so and you must select a particular school your teacher will have created content based on the particular school that you are selecting 
you will have created content on it. So don't select any other school, just assume, don't just assume. Ask for the school in which, I mean, ask for the school and ask, I mean, don't, not the school, ask for the, uh, the class in which you want to actually, you know, apply for, whichever class in which you are. That's what you're going to see content on. You can't be just posing from one class to another, you know, just so you just need to sign up to that particular class in which you want to register for or you want to get the content for. So after you have done that, you type in your username and your password. You type in your username and your password. Your password, uh, please watch what we have here. No space between your password. At least one letter must be there. At least eight character. If everything in total must be eight character or must be eight in number. And at least one special character. Special character are like uh, um, uh, percentage, like ash, you know, like, you know, if you look at this, you can see percent dollar sign, percentage, ash, act sign, uh, and percent. That means and you know when you're writing and with a star. So and uh, one of it at least put one of it in your password or your username. It makes it a bit secure. And aside this, it, aside this, once you sign up, it will open up another page for you, which I might not be able to show you here. Uh, okay, let let's go through it. Uh, who is connecting? Let's say Shola Demi um, Akin. Um, uh, we have uh, Shola Demi, Shola Demi at Remsal.com. Uh, we are going to GSS3 and we are picking, okay, Shola Demi, Demi 1 or percentage or half and percent. I can copy the same thing here and paste it here because it, it satisfy all the needed uh, criteria. And I, I have to select, I am not a robot. I have to select, I am not a robot. Once I have done that and I say, okay, fine, submit automatically. Automatically, you will find, you will find out that it will register it. And once it register it, you will be able to pay you need to do your payments you need to do your payment can you see you can pay with 100 naira for flutterway and uh you know you have to go through this process you have to go you have to do your payment else you won't be able to get access in although there's a three day i mean there's a three login trial i mean you log in three times and um, but i will always advise that you just do your payment uh, switch automatically uh to the flutter wave do your payment automatically that will be activated your username and password will be activated for you for use on OES. And that will give you a duration of three months. That will give you a duration of three months with light 90 logins limit. So um, I think that's all we have to take note of. Let's go back to our, uh, to our uh, presentation slide. So I think I've talked about all this and you can see yeah, three months, okay, it's 120 login times. Uh, we have uh, 2,000 naira for 250 login time, so you can use it to like match thereabouts, or you know, that's it. Yeah, um, you have 4,000 that you can use it for the whole one year uh, with 401 login limit, and you have uh, 500 for like one year or so for one, or, but with one more login limits on it. You can share it if you share your PIN, if you share your username and the password, your login limit will run out. And when your login limit run out, even though you have one year license, you've already exhausted your login limit. And so that's not going to be good. So keep your username and your password to yourself. And that will be very good, you know, for you to be able to use the resources for a long period of time. And do not share your login access with anyone. And that's just what I just mentioned now. So you can see. Uh, so after you are done with that, you come to your login. Uh, and you type in your username and your password, it will take you in. Um, let me give you an instance of uh, someone logging in into the system. Um, let's go back to our, uh, okay, so this is a login, this is a particular login that was done by someone, and then can you see, when you log in, when you log in from here, this is where you're gonna get yourself 
you're going to find yourself in your own page. And as a student, you're going to find yourself in the dashboard like this. You can pick your classroom, you can pick your test room, you can pick your examination room. I mean, so provided you want to do examination. I've already been locked out. That's why it's switching me out. So let me log in again. And so you see what I'm talking about. And so, um, okay, so we're just going to do this for, uh, for a while. And uh, I think we're going to be done with this within a short time. Uh, so when you click on this, it's going to show you all those interface. Um, remember, I just logged out, so I just want to make sure that it logs me in. So when I'm logged in, I can now click on uh, my classroom. Can you see lectures already available for you? And you can further click on this to enter the lecture and listen to the lecture. Uh, it's a wonderful one. It's a nice time. I mean, you're going to enjoy the classroom that we are helping uh, teachers to create and, um, you know, teachers to create and reach out to students. I mean, this will help with the audio visual that we, the student, has always been craving for. Okay. So, thank you for listening. Thank you. I mean, I think this should help you out. And God bless.